you for your interest in this talk. My name is Tarcizio. I'm a knowledge representation manager at the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. SIB is a federation of um, bioinformatics research and service groups. Uh, I would like today to talk about how to boost your research with SIB semantic web of data on behalf of the SIB RDF group members. First, I will give you an overview of, about uh, the SIB databases. Um, but the target audience of this talk are biologists and bioinformaticians. Here you can see actually a non-exhaustive list of the SIP database. They contain knowledge that spans several domains in life science, such as gene expression, protein, protein-protein interactions, metabolic networks. In the past years, under the umbrella of SIP, these resources have been working together to improve their interoperability at different levels, from cross-reference among resources to semantic search over them. Then, uh, during this collaboration between these different groups at the Institute of Bioinformatics, we came from data silos to a semantic web of data. Especially, the advanced semantic search is thanks to the fact that this database built and maintained a high interlinked semantic web of data infrastructure, actually. For example, in the past, this database could only be queried individually if the user wanted to, to answer research questions um, that needed more than one resource, like for example here in this illustration, a question that would require like a BG, RIA and Uniprot database, but maybe also Wikidata, um, it would require to query them individually, each database, and for and uh, and then manually aggregate or combine these data from these multiple sources actually this can be like a fastidious work and uh, alternatively maybe to automate it a bioinformatician could code some script but with the higher cost of uh, developing it and maybe it's not necessary would be straightforward or possible now with this semantic um, uh, web of data of SIB, it's possible for the user from one database, such as here, like Uniprot, uh, to query not only its data, but also the data of other uh, SIB database, including external ones, such as Wikidata. And uh, actually, uh, by doing that, it results in integrated data retrieval from multiple data sources to answer a given uh, questions or query of the user. For instance, if we want to combine um, uh, Uniprot and Wikidata to answer this question, what are the positions of the APP gene in the human genome, knowing that uh, this gene is cause, can cause a form of uh, Alzheimer's disease, this information comes from Uniprot, and to know the, the position in a given in the human genome, you would require, for example, to query, to combine it and query uh, with, with data, resulting uh, in knowing that this gene is located in the 21 chromosome, but also the exactly position in different genome assemblies, as you can see here in the table. Then now I will give you a technical overview how we federate this SIP data de databases in more details. Then what we have done to implement this semantic web of data at the system of informatics is was to make them respect the same language, to be able to query those different databases with the same technical query language. And the query language chose was Sparkle. For, for that purpose, what we have done, it was uh, each individual SIP database have developed their own Sparkle endpoint. What's a Sparkle endpoint? It's a point of presence on the web that's capable of receiving processing Sparkle protocol requests. Then by doing that, we are able to query the data of these multiple databases uh, with the same, exactly the same query language. Then currently we have the 12 Sparkle endpoints, as you can also uh, check more information about them at the Xpazio website. Here I provide you a list of um, the different web address of the Sparkle endpoints of SIP. Those links uh, are available in the description of the YouTube video. Here you can find uh, uh, detailed information about the different documentations and tutorials 
of each Sibisparco endpoint that can be used as a source of information to know how to carry the different um, Sparkle endpoints, but also to how to build um, queries across those different resources. Uh, we also provide uh, several examples of federated queries that are the queries that goes across several resources. These links are available in the YouTube description as well of this video. As final remarks, I would like to invite you to check our latest published article in the Nucleic Acid Research Journal entitled The SIPS Institute of Bioinformatics and Metric Web of Data as a future work uh, that actually we, we started um, working on it uh, to give you a hint is that we are developing a, uh, the uh, nextpz.org chatgpt like search engine over those uh, SIB Sparkle endpoints. It means that the user won't need to know how to write Sparkle queries to be able to answer the questions and retrieve the data that they are looking for or, or from these uh, different SIB uh, databases. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. If you have any question, please feel free to contact us and our, and our email us. Thank you.